right, we've got a couple of packages here today. Although this first one is not anime. It's um, for the upcoming movie party movie. It's a Home Alone collection. Some all new movie, Taking Back the House. Uh, I don't know. It's. Oh, well, it, it is what it is. And it's all that it is. And we'll figure it out. Uh, I mean, I mostly just needed the first movie for the upcoming movie party. I guess there's not a particularly. Spectacular. So we've got a couple of options. I guess it makes sense to double check. First of all, we've got both A and B. These appear to be dubbed. Because I think we just established that Sentai has begun um, releasing some stuff that's subtitled only on Blu-ray. So identifying which ones those are is important. I'm not sure if I pointed that out last time. In fact, I might have commented on it and somebody else pointed out that, like, Touch Girls Anime One is uh, subtitled only, maybe. Even though it's also been released on DVD. In which case, this is some annoying plastic that's decided to stick. So I say to it, just go, you evil plastic. So, as is usual, we have two DVD discs, or three DVD discs, and two Blu-ray discs, so it looks like uh, the same artwork for discs one and discs two. And next up we have Humanity Has Declined, which is subtitled only. My audio is Japanese. This one's Region A only. That said, I have been a bit curious about this one in particular. <sighs> this one's doing the same thing where the plastic's sticking. It's annoying. I don't know the details of even why it does that. Okay. Let's so see those two Sentai releases. We have, um... Three discs. And then two discs. It looks like this one has the artwork from DVD discs one and three. And so disc two is the unique one there. Well, um... I think that's all of the, the anime for the week. Just those two Sentai releases. Two DVD releases, two Blu-ray releases. So let's see. I've also not watched a whole lot. Um, first of all, I watched uh, Aesthetic of a Rogue Hero. I actually thought it was okay. A, a bit better than I would have taken from its rating. Uh, although a lot of that could just be the personal preference of, um, I thought that he was an amusing main character, and story-wise, it maybe was a bit lacking, as in, there's something neat there, but it kind of feels like it's not trying to focus on anything specifically, it's just a general, uh, yeah, here's these ideas and here's how they pan out sort of thing, maybe, maybe. But otherwise, I thought the main character was actually rather enjoyable to watch. I 
I, maybe just a breath of fresh air from the usual um, manipulated by everyone around him weak main male character that tends to be common in these sort of anime. But, yeah. It just means I don't understand the rating. Uh, or maybe that one was rated okay and it was Vivid Dread Operation that I didn't understand the rating for because I, I watched that one as well. And, well, there's a lot of fan service pictures, uh, imagery, sort of along the same lines as Strike Witches, I guess. I don't remember if there was much in the way of characters being nude and just not showing anything, but definitely questionable choice of legwear for the characters. Again, with Strike Witches, it basically meant nobody wore pants. And with Vivid Dread Operation, I don't know. I'd like to say that it seemed like they were all wearing bloomers or bike shorts or something along those lines, except those were some really tight-fitting ones, so... It almost seems like kind of a stretch to call it even that. And there was a lot of humor like that, but overall, I guess if there's any problem with it, people probably wouldn't just like the, um... It kind of felt like there was a mix of some old familiar elements in there. Maybe some new takes on some of them. I mean, it almost reminded me a bit of Ground Defense Force Mauchan to a little degree in terms of coming up with an excuse to have little girls fighting in the military going, huh, okay. Although in the case of Ground Defense Force Mauchan, that one was more of a comedic thing, whereas this one is, well, I don't know. I guess if you took this anime way too seriously, maybe it wouldn't feel quite right, but there was something about it that's just kind of pleasant to watch the whole time, ignoring the fan service elements. So, I don't quite understand. Maybe it's just because it's not really anything new to people. But for me, it was just sort of, that's kind of amusing, that's kind of amusing, that's kind of amusing, nothing got busting, but... And let's see, I've, I'm about f six episodes into Orashura, which was the other Aniplex of America release other than uh, the Blue Exorcist movie. And so far, I think that one's actually been a, a mildly amusing. I did not expect certain references in there that have shown up repeatedly. Not necessarily that the anime would be referencing those particular elements so much as that the particular character would reference those elements at all. Kind of... I don't know. That's been fun. It's just been kind of fun. Nothing about it has necessarily wowed me or made me spectacular. Except I, I actually think the main character... I think he's a little extreme in his views, but I kind of admire that they're going for somebody who maybe wasn't trying to look for love, so his awkwardness in that regard actually makes a bit more sense, I guess. I mean, we're all pretty awkward at that age, except for those few of us who kind of have things figured out a bit earlier, I think. But sometimes a lot of animes just set things up so the main character is awkward for the sake of being awkward, whereas this guy's just like, He's never even thought about it. For a lot of these characters, you would think, oh, you know, this is a guy who watches anime, so he probably has thought about, oh, this situation has happened. Well, how can I be better than all those stupid anime protagonists from the anime I've watched? Or maybe the, the age demographics aren't quite right, or they're just not as well watched as for me. I don't know. <sighs> In any case, there's not, not a lot of anime for being on vacation, and what's my excuse? Well, I've been doing a lot of monster hunting. I think I constructed the Cedius and Goldbeard Cedius armors almost completely from scratch. I mean, I didn't have any of the parts, but I think I just had... To, I'd only done the Goldbeard three times, and I hadn't done it in order to try and collect specific parts, which basically meant that in order to construct both those armors, I needed the, the Dark Dragon Gems, which are pretty rare drops. 
Oh yeah, and I did that one because they both have HG earplugs and the Giganox had been pissing me off enough that I kind of wanted to focus a little bit more on that. And I had done that because I was doing the Giganox armor. Okay, okay, and then I started playing around with, oh, what other armors might I be interested in? And there's a lot that I'd be interested in, some just because they look neat, even if I'm not ever going to actually use the armor. Others because, well, I've never played with Punishing Draw or Crit Draw, and I kind of, like I said, that has both because I use the longsword. So, uh, anyways, as you can tell, since I'm doing a lot of work, and a lot of these are G rank monsters, which means I can't multitask as well. I could put something on that I had already seen before and was dubbed. And with Vivid Dread Operations, as I got kind of really good at taking on the Goldbeard Cedius, I think I might have transitioned to watching Vivid Dread while playing with that. And, oh, and playing with my new uh, Deep Fryers, so I had some really awesome french fries. And in fact, that was the only thing I ate on Saturday. But, um, yeah, basically, these monsters are a bit too dangerous for me to try and multitask. I have to pay a lot of attention to them, so... Either I rewatch anime, and there could have been random things I might have rewatched here and there, or I just have to accept the fact that I can only do one or the other. And the truth of the matter is, I do need two Dura, two uh, Diablos hard horns in order to construct that punishing draw crit draw set I want to play around with. And because of that. I've spent a lot of time doing other things. And tomorrow's not going to be any better Christmas Day because I'm going to be going up to the family house and all that stuff. So, if anime happens, it happens. If it doesn't, unfortunately, we just have to deal with what does happen. So, <sighs> all that aside, I can't remember what else is coming out soon. I do know that there was some anti that shipped, and I do believe they might get delivered on... Monday to my work address, so I might go there to pick them up. So they might be here for next week's update, or they might not. We'll have to play that one by ear. Alright. I can't think of anything else worth mentioning. In fact, the Monster Hunter stuff was probably not worth mentioning, but we can put all that aside. We got today's anime DVD collection update. Y'all have a nice week and a Merry Christmas. And I don't know when Hanukkah happens. I think it happens before Christmas or something, but... Happy Hanukkah, too.